Hey Bass Geek here and today we're gonna mount a Helix 10 Mega in my pond hopper. All right, so today we're gonna put the Helix 10 Mega SI in this little pond hopper, this little pelican right here. You can see I've got some stuff already, got the boxes laid out. And so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I got my power supply over there, got everything out of the way. I wanna show you where I'm gonna mount it, where I'm gonna mount the transducer and how I'm gonna use this now let's do an unboxing all right so what's in the first box guys here is the transducer now this is a brand new transducer but i had to actually send this in when i had my hummingbirds worked on so they could test here's the mountain brackets for it of course i went ahead and got my connector that's all that's in that box here, of course, is the actual bracket itself to hold the hold the unit. And here, by Brocraft, I'm not sponsored by this company, I've never used them, so let's hope this works, is how we're gonna mount the transducer. This part, we won't use. This part will actually mount on the back of the boat. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop this open. Again, sorry about all the traffic. You know how it is by now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the transducer itself mounted. That is a heavy duty bracket. Look at that. That is insane how heavy duty that is. All right, guys. So we're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of trouble here. You can see this. 
So what I'm probably gonna do is go down there and get my Dremel out, Dad's got it, and Dremel these holes out just a little bit, and then we'll put screws in the backside. I'll show you the aftermath when I'm done. So I did have to make a slight modification to this. I had to Dremel out the two holes on the bar just a little bit because they wouldn't match up to where the bolt holes on the bracket go. So not a real big deal. I know guys, I didn't show you how to do this. I mean, if you're a man and you're a grown man and you don't know how to use a drill or a Dremel by now, I'm revoking your man card. All I did was elongate these two holes closer to the pipe. All right, boys and girls, there it is. That's how it's gonna mount up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it up to that bar. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it in the boat so when it's not being used, we'll take it off just like you do the trolling motor and we'll just throw it in the boat. So I'm gonna zip tie it up to the pole. We're gonna run it through here. I'm gonna zip tie this together and we'll run it to the front where we're gonna mount the rest of the unit or the unit. So we got the wires put in. You know, I got everything kind of tied up toward the front. Everything here on the back. And I'll show you this. You know, it runs underneath there, nice and neat. Hopefully you can see that. So of course, our batteries will set back here. I've just got them sitting right here right now. Actually, I'm using one of them to charge the phone. That's what I'm shooting on right now. But here you've got the transducer. The great thing is you can really adjust that up and down and get it in the water and at the level you want it to be. So here's the deal. What I've decided to do is actually mount it to my mat. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna actually screw it into the mat and I'm gonna set my depth finder right here so I'm not punching any more holes into the boat. Now, I haven't tested this theory. I may need screws with a bigger bite, but we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see how it works. you can hear me for all the noise the neighbor mowing the effing traffic going by but here's the last thing we're going to do other than actually mounting you can see man that's <laughs> that ain't coming out this is not a regular mat this is called a uh, trailer mat it's made for cattle so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how we're going to mount our wiring into the clip for our helix unit Oop. now you'll see each one of these are individual so that's that's your power going right there 
here's your sonar you can see it's a nice oval one don't mistake these two we'll put it right there so you just pop this apart you can see that's the top and all you're going to do is basically slide it in work your cable around slide it in there get it good and straight there we go work your cable around get it tucked down in there that goes with both of them and then from there you're just gonna put your clips back in just like that put your top on got it together and you're just gonna screw it back together Don't cross thread it, be really careful. So far, not so good. But there's one. There's the other. All right guys, let's mount our unit in. Very first thing we're gonna do clip our power in we're going to turn our unit and then we can just and there you have it we've got our unit mounted in I mean look at that you couldn't ask for anything any better than that I mean that mat is going to work out just fine. Whew. All right, guys. That's my granddaughter, Mia. Say hey, Mia. We are done, all except putting the numbers, getting the old North Carolina numbers, which is where I bought this boat from, a guy down in North Carolina. We are done. And I mean, this thing is a fishing machine. So let me walk you through some of the changes that I put on it. As you can see, we put the trolling motor on front. Now we have run all of our cabling down through here. We just mounted our bird. This is a Gen 2 Helix SI Chirp. So we run all of our cabling down underneath. We added the chairs. Say hey Mia. We added the chairs. We added the rod straps. We can get four rods on either side. We've got the rod straps. I decided to put two in and the big reason why I put two on each side is because going down the road I'll have both of them clipped when I'm fishing I'll only have that front one clipped to keep me and I'm clumsy from knocking that those rods out and into the water here's our power sources we've got two power sources here I don't have them hooked up but one will pretty much be dedicated to the trolling motor the other will be cameras charging and a backup battery for our sonar unit and our uh, uh, trolling motor if we run the bigger battery down. Now this is how we're going to put our transducer. I didn't want to mount it to the boat, didn't want to drill holes below the water line, and also I didn't want to beat and bang it as I'm dragging it up offshore. So you can see all we have to do is either tilt it up or just take it out and lay it in the boat. And that'll be what happens 90% of the time. We come back down the other side. You can see the two rod holders here. You can see both seats. Both seats, unless I've got somebody with me, I won't take them. Generally, it will be me in this seat, just like my sweet little granddaughter here. That's what I've done to my Bass Raider. I have got a tackle bag coming in that I will share with you, and we're gonna put a ton of uh, tackle specifically for pond hopping and specifically for this boat so I don't have to take it from this boat to that boat then back to this boat then over to this boat and then take it over that boat put it in this boat put it in that boat again yeah no so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build me 
a tackle bag that's only going to go right here and sit under that seat yeah. right where Mia's sitting yeah. all right guys so that is it tell me if i should add anything else if i should do something different to my little boat so far though i'm really happy with the outcome of this but i cannot wait to get this little boat out on the water and test it hopefully we don't sink don't know what's going to happen I ain't never had it on the water yet so hopefully you know it don't sink we'll, we'll see what happens all right so as always drop those questions and comments in the comment section below you guys tell me what you think about the little boat and again when we go out fishing in it i'm going to do a little giveaway to name the boat so drop those questions comments tell me what i should have done what i shouldn't have done tell me what you like what you don't hey everybody's got opinions don't mean i'm gonna listen to you guys i got my own opinions but if you got some good ones i may incorporate it into my little pond hopper all right so as always like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that notification bell so you know when these videos come out and you guys rock. there we go Thank you.